And just to repeat, John Tower has been rejected as President Bush's Defence Secretary. Tonight's other headline again. Mrs Thatcher has said the government will not foot the bill for putting the Channel Tunnel rail link underground. And the former Prime Minister, Edward Heath, has told her that if she really cares about the environment, she should put her money where her mouth is. From the 9 o'clock news, good night. BBC One North East, now a late look north. Good evening, Mrs Thatcher is speaking on Tyneside within the hour, at the end of a day when there's been good news about more jobs coming to the region. The Prime Minister is expected to bring further encouraging news of the North East's economic progress. It's also understood that she'll hear details about long-term development plans for the Gateshead Garden Festival site when the event is over. Mrs Thatcher will remain in the region tomorrow visiting various projects. Earlier in the Commons, it was confirmed that the Ministry of Defence is to move its quality control headquarters from south-east London to Stockton. Some 1,500 posts are involved, and it's believed there'll be many more spin-off jobs. Meanwhile, the government has also said Sunderland is to get another million pounds to help set up training and business projects. The industry minister, Tony Newton, said the money was to further boost the town's economy after the closure of northeast shipbuilders. A northeast policeman who has gone on trial in Portugal today, charged with the, his wife's murder, has told about how he admitted he was having an affair. Police Constable Alan Waldock, who's from Ellington in Northumberland, was on vacation with his wife Doris when she was found drowned in a whirlpool bath at a holiday apartment. Today, Mr Waldock told the court that on the first day of their stay, he told his wife he was having an affair at home. He also claimed she later slipped and hit her head three days before she was found dead. The trial continues tomorrow. A new social services director has been appointed by Cleveland County Council. Mr Michael Lauerman, who is currently a deputy director with Kent County Council, says it's time the trauma of Cleveland's past is put behind. He will take over from Michael Bishop, who recently accepted a similar post in Manchester. Mr Bishop and his department came under criticism as a result of the county's child abuse crisis. And that's the news in this late look north. Next from Newcastle, our bulletins during breakfast time. We'll leave you with the national weather forecast. Good evening to you. Mild it might have been with temperatures up to 15 in the northeast of Scotland, but when you see a chart like this one, you take cover because there's plenty of wind and rain connected with them. And this front here, wriggling its way along in the west, is going to wriggle a bit further by the end of tomorrow afternoon. That's where it'll be still wriggling across the Midlands, still giving quite a downpour in many places. Now, the winds have been quite a problem today. Gales at the western side and gales running up through the north and up through Shetland as well. Those gales slowly receding during the course of the night, so in fact by tomorrow, down in the south, no more than a gentle breeze, really, in comparison with the west of Scotland, where it will be approaching gale force once again by tomorrow evening. That's the radar picture at 8 o'clock this evening. Still some heavier pulses of rain up through Wales into northern England, through Northern Ireland and up into Scotland too. And it's turning colder all the while from the west. Some of that rain is now turning to snow up on the higher ground. But clearer weather just about getting into the Western Isles. That clearer weather crossing much of Scotland and much of Northern Ireland by the end of the night, but still a downpour to come. And quite wet conditions up through the southwest, through Wales, into northern England too for much of the night. Central and eastern England, not too bad. Quite dry, quite mild, 9.48. Up the north, uh, there could be a touch of frost. There could be some mist patches too in the glens once the cloud and rain has disappeared. Tomorrow then, this same zone, pretty miserable really, all the way from southwest England through to northern England and to the borders too. There could be some sleet and snow still up on the higher ground. Either side of it though, not too bad. Then through the Midlands into East Anglia and the southeast, a bit of sunshine. That sunshine coming and going through the day. The best of the sunshine probably up in Northern Ireland and North and West Scotland, but there will be some showers scattered around, and during the afternoon, those showers becoming more blustery, more frequent, and there'll be some snow on the mountains, some hail and sleet as well elsewhere. But at the same time, you will find that brighter weather gradually nudging into Northern England and just nudging down into North Wales as well during the second part of the afternoon, with the rain just pushing a little bit further across the Midlands. Not at all bad tomorrow temperatures, 13 or 14 degrees in the brighter parts of the southeast, but noticeably colder further north, 9 degrees for instance, it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Quite a change to come on Saturday. The high pressure just pushing up a little bit from the south. That'll dry things out, but still showery in the far north. And that's it.